Hello, everybody. Today is Wednesday, November 21st, 2018. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here at the National Weather Service. This is the snow safety planning briefing regarding winter storms in the mountains. And we do have a winter storm on the way, so let's get to it. So this is a rendition of the winds at about 20,000 feet as of today. And you can see uh, the jet stream kind of swoops down by the coast and kind of goes up into Canada. But the part by the coast is expected to come in on Thanksgiving. And that's going to put down a little bit of a, a snow, maybe 5 to 8 inches. But what we, what we were looking at, and the meteorologist here, and I did this with Glenn Merrill, who's a meteorologist. We did this together. He points out that right in that area there is the coldest air and it's the most dynamic part of the storm. And that's going to come in on Saturday and put down two plus inches of water when you combine both parts of these storms. And really the focus of, of this event is Friday night through Saturday morning. So let's get started with the Logan Mountains. Through this entire period, we're anticipating snow amounts to be 18 to 24 inches with 1.5 to 2 inches of water. It's going to start Wednesday evening it's going to end Saturday morning sometime with the greatest snow intensities Friday afternoon and again in the evening hours. The peak snowfall rates are going to be about an inch to two inches per hour during that time. And the snow level at the onset is about 7,000 feet. The snow level at the storm's end is going to be at valley floor. And it's going to be decreasing snow density trends. But it's important to note that the snow density trends really won't be getting lighter until Saturday morning when the cold front comes through. Otherwise, we're going to have warm advection with a lot of moisture. So it's not a big heavy rain event, but there is going to be somewhat dense snow with wind. And then it's going to get very light uh, Saturday morning when the cold front comes through. When we look at the winds, something to note it's right the sustained winds are going to be about 30 miles an hour starting south and then veering around from south southwest to south to west to northwest near the end of the event and that period uh, late Friday into Saturday winds are going to kick up to about 80 miles an hour at the highest elevation with sustained winds at about 50 miles an hour during that time when we move to the northern mountains and then what we're looking at is Powder Mountain snow basin in that area what we'll see, snow totals 18 to 30 inches with snow water equivalent at 1.5 to 2.5. It's going to start Wednesday night. It's going to end Saturday morning. And the greatest snow intensity, again, will be Friday afternoon into the evening hours at 1 to 2 inches per hour. The snow level at the onset 7,000 feet, meaning it's going to be raining below that. And then we're going to get down to the valley floor as that cold front moves through and with that same decreasing snow density trends, especially Saturday morning. The winds very similar. The highest winds at Friday, uh, late Friday into Saturday and out of the northwest. So when you think of the highest winds, west to northwest winds during this event, uh, really from Friday through Saturday. So when you look at the central Wasatch on the front side, this is Alta, Snowbird, and those areas in big and little cotton, with the snow total 18 to 36 inches, with snow water equivalent 1.5 to 3 inches. And it's going to start Thursday early morning. It's going to end Saturday afternoon uh, with the greatest snow intensities Friday p.m. through Saturday a.m. Right in that right in that time frame, it's going to kind of come and go with uh, the greatest snowfall rates during that time at 2 inches per hour with the snow level at the onset at 7,000 feet. When that cold front does come through in, the, in Saturday morning, uh, we're going to be down to the valley floor and again that same decreasing uh, snow density trend. Uh, the winds, you know, very similar, 80 miles an hour, gusts maybe even a little higher at, at Baldy Mountain up in those areas with about 55 miles an hour sustained during the nighttime hours out of the west and out of the northwest. So when you think of the backside, this is Park City, Deer Valley, uh, the canyons, snow totals 12 to 22 inches with 1.5 to 1.75 of water. Storm begins early Thursday morning and it's going to end Saturday afternoon with Friday night at the greatest snow intensities at 1 to 2 inches per hour. Everything on this side is a little less. The winds are a little less. The snow amounts are a little less. But the same thing goes for about 7,000 feet from Thanksgiving uh, through uh, early Friday. And then it's when, when things kind of get colder. It's going to go down to the valley floor with those snow density trends decreasing. 
Uh, again, when you look at the winds, maybe 65 miles an hour will hit at Jupiter Peak with sustain at 55 miles an hour. And the winds are going to ramp up as it veers around from south to south, southwest to west to northwest uh, during this time frame. So uh, some pretty good snow, some pretty good winds. And then we're going to switch over to the western Uinta Mountains. 14 to 24 inches in the storm, 1 to 2 inches per hour. Uh, storm's going to start early Thursday morning. It's going to end Saturday night. And Friday night will probably be our greatest snow intensities in this area. Uh, peak snowfall rates about 2 inches per hour. And again, that same idea for 7,000 feet. Rain below that down to the valley floor once that cold front comes in on Saturday. So when you think of the winds, also very similar to the backside of Park City, Deer Valley, maybe Sundance uh, this in, the, in this area on the western Uinta is at 65 mile an hour gusts, you know, late Friday, 55 mile an hour uh, sustained with increasing and bearding winds at that time. So there you have it. Uh, one quick thing to note is this is going to change the avalanche conditions dramatically. I spoke to Drew Hardesty earlier, and he indicates that they're going to be uh, staffing the office full time in the morning. So definitely uh, check the Utah Avalanche Center's webpage. If you need anything else from us or you would like to see something else in the briefings, uh, there's my information and there's Glenn Merrill's information, who's the meteorologist. We do this together. You can catch us on Facebook, on Twitter, and uh, you uh, do a search on the UAC and definitely check out their website. Until then, until the next storm, we'll go from there. Good start. Thanks again.